Hey everybody, Jason here. Welcome back to Linux for Everyone and welcome home. I am coming at you from Studio B where it's way too hot to be on camera right now, but way too beautiful not to show you some stunning footage of where I'm staying for the next few weeks. Here's something else to drool over. Back in May, I interviewed Mark Pearson of Lenovo and Matt Miller of Fedora about the trio of Fedora-powered laptops that'll be launching this summer. Uh, summer's almost over, Lenovo. After that, Lenovo dropped the announcement that all of their workstation laptops and PCs would soon be certified for and ship with Ubuntu or Red Hat Enterprise Linux. Well, they haven't launched yet, but I have one of these Fedora machines, the ThinkPad P53. This thing is a beast. It is a proper unit. It is spoiling me rotten, and I have some thoughts about it. Now, right up front, this is not a review. It's more of a first impressions thread. And, and there's some things you need to know to help you better understand where I'm coming from here. This is the first ThinkPad that I have used for more than a few hours in about 15 years. Uh, it's also only my second time ever touching Fedora. And I think that last time was when Fedora 29 just released. This is a fresh experience for me. And it's, it's kind of difficult to be critical at this stage. But this video won't be all praise. And wow, do I have a different impression of Fedora now. It is snappy, responsive. I'm liking this pure GNOME experience. Um, in many ways, this distro and this hardware feel like they belong together. Kind of like how natural it feels and how perfect it feels to use Pop! OS on an Oryx Pro or a Lemur Pro. And hey, Fedora fans, listen up. If you're worried that Lenovo is going to contaminate this distro with proprietary stuff, let me put those fears at ease. The OS image that Lenovo slaps onto this machine is identical to a Fedora workstation image that you would download and install yourself. The only difference is these three documents that are placed in the home folder, one of which is a really handy user guide written by Lenovo's Mark Pearson. And you know what else? I think I'm starting to prefer the DNF package manager to apt. It may feel a little bit slower, but it's more um, legible, human readable, understandable. I won't drone on too much about Fedora right now, but I'm grateful to have given it another shot at being my daily driver because it's really close. I, I really think that it could be. Anyway, let's focus on the hardware in the spotlight right now. And hey, lest you think I've lost my ability to be critical, I'll open with this. The bezels on this beast look comically oversized for a laptop in 2020. I understand the P53 is not a sexy ultrabook. It isn't trying to win any thinness awards. I also get that the thicker bezels reinforce the durability of the display panel. Even as large as they are, I don't care. I still feel this little burst of pride pulling it out of my bag and powering it up. Though if you're uh, flaunting it around in public, you'll want to have a cleaning cloth handy because it's a serious fingerprint magnet. Maybe it's time for Lenovo to implement a more fingerprint resistant material on their ThinkPads. Now, as you can see by the specs on this machine, it is a workhorse. Um, the focus for this workstation class laptop is on unbridled power and durability. Now, that being said, I would like to see a little bit less screen flex, although I'm really happy that the keyboard deck is so sturdy. It, it feels like you can beat the crap out of it. And these hinges, look at these. They, they feel like they're going to last so much longer than any other laptop in this age of of thin and light and disposable, you know? Lenovo says you can basically use this in space or in the Arctic or in a sandstorm without a care in the world. I, sorry, I, I couldn't test those conditions, but I wasn't worried about taking it to the beach for a photo shoot with my dog or having a writing session out there because it doesn't feel fragile. I don't feel like I have to walk on eggshells around it. I feel like I can just work on it and not have all this anxiety about it being damaged. 
All right, so the screen on this one is 1080p with Dolby Vision HDR. And aside from that little bit of screen flex, it is a quality display and it gets bright enough, uh, 500 nits, to see clearly in direct sunlight, which is something that sadly my, my fifth generation Oryx Pro cannot do. And speaking of my Oryx Pro, look, I love that thing. And if you've been watching me for any amount of time, you know I love System76. But this ThinkPad P53, it kind of wipes the floor with my existing daily driver laptop. From Handbrake to Blender, it is just an absolute monster when it comes to performance. And guys, it's not just the performance advantage that's really spoiling me here. My Oryx Pro also lacks a fingerprint sensor. Man, I had no idea what I was missing and I can't, I repeat, I cannot live without the awesome combination of sudo plus my fingerprint. In uh, in Fedora 32, everything from registering my fingerprints to logging in to verifying myself within the terminal worked without a hitch. It was pure joy. Now you're uh, you're obviously not buying a ThinkPad with an Nvidia Quadro 4000 inside of it mainly for gaming, right? But when your work is done and you're ready to play, You'll be really happy to know that P53 can kind of throw down with the best of them. Here's a glimpse at the quality and frame rates it's capable of. Dirt Rally 2.0 running here on Ultra at 1080p and kicking out more than 100 average frames per second and minimum frames per second of well above 60. Again, this machine is just spoiling me. My Oryx Pro and its RTX 2070 cannot quite pull off this kind of gaming performance. And I'm thinking about a three-way benchmark between this ThinkPad P53 and the new sixth generation Oryx Pro, which is also an eight core Intel CPU. And I just got this in my hands and uh, I, I, I cannot wait to talk to you guys more about it, but I haven't really done more than power it up and take some, some B-roll. The Tuxedo Book XA15 which is another thick boy boasting a Ryzen 3950X, 16 cores, 32 threads. Anyway, I should wrap this up, but there is a lot more to dig into with this machine and really the entire Lenovo Linux initiative that is just on the cusp of launching here. Uh, right now, I'm I'm infatuated with this machine and yeah, it's it's not winning any awards for being thin or lightweight, but the typing experience is superb. The screen rocks. It's insanely fast. I, I love the port placement, especially the ones in the back. You know, those are uh, out of sight, out of my way. And it feels somewhat future-proof. As a gamer, uh, a content creator, an audio and video editor, it's almost too much machine, but so far, it serves every need that I have. Now it's time to really put it through the paces, benchmarks and, and testing other distros. So let me know what you want to see tested. What questions do you have about the ThinkPad P53 with Fedora? Throw a comment down there and I will do my absolute best to tackle your requests. Anyway, thanks as always for being here. I appreciate your likes and your engagement and your subscriptions as well. So make sure you hit that subscribe button. And until the next video, you guys take care and take care of each other. Bye.